The inverter. So what we would like the inverter to do is to produce a perfect sine wave. That would produce the least amount of noise and the least amount of torque ripple It would pro by providing the smoothest possible input. What really happens, as Mitch indicated up here, is that the inverter wants to turn on and turn off. The reason it does this is because it's a component made of uh, solid state electronics. Solid state electronics want to be either turned on or turned off. Otherwise, they, they're in an intermediate state where they produce much more heat. So what the inverter does is it wants to create the sine wave, but the way it does it is it, it comes on, um, and then at the switching frequency, let's say the switching frequency is 10,000 hertz. 10, 000, in a 10,000th of a second, it, it comes along and it goes, what do I do now? Oh, I'm going to turn on and produce a little bit of, a little bit of uh, current. And then I turn off, then I come on, I produce a little bit more current. And then as I get into... And as I get into the meat of my volt, voltage, I produce current more and more and more, more often. And then as I get farther out here, I produce current less and less often. There's more spaces between those. So this is a, called a pulse width modulated system. And uh, the reason this is undesirable is because it's switching on and off 10,000 times a second. So it's actually producing noise at 10, at 10,000 hertz. And it's also producing noise at sidebands of that. So it's got a noise peak at 10,000 hertz, and then, it has, um, and then it has different harmonic peaks that go along with that that uh, produce high-frequency noise.